Hey YouTubers, back here again with another haul video for you guys. Um, just I just have a couple books to show you guys. Some books I picked up over the past few weeks. Um, so let's get started. Uh, I have a Shock Suspense so Stories number 11. This is a Johnny Craig cover. Uh, like I said in my last video, I'm trying to go for a full run of Shock. So this is another one off the list. Here's number 11. This one's a pretty nice copy has a bit of a subscription crease here but other than that is is a really nice copy Johnny Craig cover next we have a uh, shot number 14 this is a Wally Wood cover nice copy also Next we have a shock number 10. Um, this is a Jack Cayman cover. Pretty cool. And uh, the last shock here is number 16, George Evans cover. So uh, with these four, I only need uh, number 13 and number 17 to complete that run. Not bad. All right. Last raw book here is Prison Break number three. This is a book I picked up from um, Emerald City Comic Con. I still got a bunch of books to show you from that, that I picked up from that con, which I'm going to be showing in my next video. This is a beautiful painted cover. I mean, um, like you guys know, I love these painted covers. And um, this is a book I actually bought from Harley E at uh, Emerald City. Gave me a little bit of a discount on it. This one's a nice shake too. And this is from 1952. I'm not quite sure who the cover artist is on this one. And this is from um, Avon Comics, who um, changed their name to Realistic Comics. I forget what year they did that. Alright, next we have uh, some graded books to show you guys. Um, most of these are going to be purple labels. Which, you know, I don't mind picking up purple labels, especially when it's just, you know, a small amount of color touch. Alright, we have Weird Fantasy number 14. Um, cool um, Al Felstein cover here. This is a 5.0 and the rest restoration includes a sp the spine split seal to cover. So not bad. 5.0. Another weird fantasy off the list. Um, so next one here is Weird Fantasy number 13 which is actually the number one issue. So with this book, that completes my Weird Fantasy run. And the restoration on this is a small amount of color touch on cover and tape on interior cover. So not bad. Really, really happy to have this copy. And I'm really happy to complete my Weird, Weird Fantasy run. This is also covered by uh, Al Feldstein. All right, the next purple label is Weird Science number 12, which is the first issue of Weird Science. And the restoration on this is a small amount of color, color touch on cover, 3.0. So with this book, this completes my Weird Science run. Really, really happy to uh, finally finish both those runs. 3.0 Al Felstein cover. Next up, Blue Label Crime Suspense Story number 20. Finally um, went ahead and picked this one up. Um, this is a classic hangy cover, and this is a Johnny Craig cover from 1954. Really, really happy to finally pick this up. And the last uh, book here is a book I've been 
wanting for a long time. Uh, this is Weird Tales of the Future number two. This is a book I've been wanting to pick up for years. I finally found um, the right copy at the right price. Sometimes this book can be low grade but very expensive. But this one was uh, in my wheelhouse. And this is a Basil Wolverton cover. And this is also a classic cover from 1952. And the restoration on this is a small amount of cover, color touch on cover and tear seals to cover. But I'm super, super happy to finally be able to get this book. Last year I picked up a Weird Tales of the Future number one. And the, the first and second issue are pretty hard to get. I think, it, I think uh, it runs seven issues total. I might try to go get the rest of them. We'll see. I think uh, I'm about to say this is probably my pickup of the year. My favorite pickup of the year. Oh, man. All right, that's it for this uh, haul video. Um, mm, I should have my next haul video up pretty soon. Maybe in the next couple of weeks. This one, that one's pretty much ready to go. Oh, man. One more time. You guys have a good one. Later. All right, here's a little short clip of Lando. Uh, I know Jerker68 wanted to see uh, see him, so here he is. His name is Lando. He's five months old right now, and he's just waking up. So I gotta get him fed pretty soon. So I just want to do a little short clip of him for Joker68. And by the way, if you guys don't know my name, my name is Brandon. And uh, I think my wife just created an Instagram for him. Um, I think it's called Corgi Name Lando. Say hello, Lando. All right, that's it. Later.